Hello, hello, hello. This is Amy with Good Little Home. And today I'm going to be teaching you how to age the wood on, um, well, I'm using one of these crates because I need them for a project I'm doing. But this works on any new piece of wood that you need to make look old. So let's start with what I'm using. The first thing I have here is um, white paint. And this was just plain flat white paint. And I poured it into my container and as you can see I'm really messy. And then I added water to it to get it down to the consistency of, it's, it's more like milk than paint as you can see. It's really, really runny. Because I want it more like a white wash than a white paint. So that's what I'm going to use. And then I also have some carbon gray wood stain, and I think this is by Verithane. I actually really like this one, this Minwax, but um, I couldn't find it at Home Depot. This is classic gray. Uh, it's a little bit lighter, but this one works too, so I'm just going to go ahead and use this because this is what I've got. Um, so, the first thing I'm going to do is grab a paper towel, and you do need a whole roll of paper towels. You're going to definitely need paper towels with this one. So, I'm going to wipe that up, because the side that's down I've already done. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our crate and our thinned out white paint, and we're just going to put that on there. Um, if it drips, it's okay, but you're going to need to catch those drips. And because it's so thin, it will drip. Unless you are a neater painter than me, but as you can see, I am not really neat at painting, so it's just the way I am. I'm good with it. Um, also, you want to make sure that you get in between and let me just say that I noticed um, when I was doing these crates, I had some from Michael's and some from Joanne's. And the ones from Michael's are rough on the inside and really hard to do this method on. So if you can, get them from Joanne's. Um, okay, so I've painted that on. Now I'm going to wipe it right off. What I want to do is wipe it so that I can see that wood grain. Can you see that right here? I hope so. Alright. And I'm just doing two at a time because I don't really want this to dry on them. I just want it to be, like I said, kind of like a light whitewash. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and do these other two. Oops, and there goes drips down the side on that one. And make sure you do get these boards, these in-between spots, because when you're done, it sticks out if they're not done. And that got white on the one I just did. Again, because I want it to be like a wash, you got to be a little bit careful about getting it on anything that it's going to dry on. This is, by the way, also dripping down the sides and on the inside, so I'm going to catch these drips because I don't want them to dry as a drip. Alrighty. Wipe it on. Wipe it off. Like I said, you're going to use a lot of paper towels. I'm going to go get a fresh one so I can wipe this other board. We just want to make sure that we can still see that wood grain. That's kind of the key to the whole thing is that you can still see the wood grain. Alright, now I'm going to take my stain, which by the way is the reason I'm wearing the gloves. I don't mind getting paint all over my hands and all over me, but I don't like getting stain on me because um, I, 
I don't like the thinners that you have to use on your skin to get it off of your skin. Although I did find the other day, I did get some all over my hands, and I used canola, canola oil because oil removes oil, and steam is oil based, and it actually worked pretty well after I had scrubbed my hands and gotten as much off as I could. Um, I just used that canola oil on it, and it came pretty much right off. I was really impressed with the way that worked. And then I didn't have to use any harsh chemicals on my hands. All right, so there you go. Now we have that on, and I don't do more than two at a time, again, because I don't really want it to dry. You can see right there the difference between how dark it would be if I let it dry and what it looks like when I wipe it off. You have to apply a little bit of pressure when you're wiping it because you really want to get back down to where you can see that wood grain. So isn't that a nice patina on those boards now? They look like they have indeed been sitting out in the weather for a long time. So let's go ahead and finish up these last two. If you're doing this on a flat surface like I do them when I'm doing my chalk couture, and I'll do a lesson on that um, probably this afternoon, so you'll be able to see that pretty quick. And I'm just using plywood. Um, it's so much easier than trying to do these crates, but I need these crates for a kitchen project that I'll be showing you sometime this week. I'm not exactly sure. I sure hope I can get it done because it's Christmas decorating and I'm running out of time. All right, so again, paint it on, wipe it off. And that's really all there is to it. It's really, really easy to give wood this aged look. And there you go, one side done. Um, do make sure when you're doing this that you've gotten the little cracks in between because they do show. So I'm going to go back over these, um, probably with just the stain. Again, it doesn't really matter if these are a little bit dark. And every time you put on another layer of stain, it does show, so I'm kind of overlapping and I shouldn't, but because that will now stain darker because it's got two coats but you can wipe it pretty quick. It's not too bad. And again, I'm not too concerned about doing this in between these cracks, but it doesn't hurt to try to pretty them up some. Alrighty, and then if you had any that ran down the sides, Go ahead and wipe that because, again, you don't want the run marks. And you don't get this on a piece of flat wood, just on the crates. You have to chase these run marks all over the place. So, that, my friends, is pretty much it. What do you think? I think it turned out really well. I love this method of making the wood look old, and it works every single time, which is another good thing about it. So I hope you all have a good day and go do a craft. Talk to you soon.